but they are safer up the tree than they are down here because everything goes away unless they got them tied together. Yeah, like that's why we tell them, you know, we won't let them out of the tree. Generally, we'll let them stay up the tree all day. We had that one back there, and he wanted to come out. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Stay up there. Why don't you guys want me to come down? No. <laughs> you're safer up there, and we know right where you're at, so we don't have to worry about you because you're in one place, so we can go ahead and do our job. It's the other people that sneak up behind us. That one guy, we had an undercut in it. He saw the tree. He ran out here. The tree was moving like this. He ran out here. Going, Stop! I was hollering a kitty, and he stopped, and three went like this. Jesus. He was going, don't kill this tree. And we say, get out of there. We thought he painted us off. So I was standing, I was standing here, but there was no way I was going to run up there to get him. The tree was, I mean, it was, you know, that's how, that's when the kids was up here and did all this. And all them 15 kids, those 15, 16, 17 year olds. You know, just don't do this. They said I'm supposed to be up here to tell you not to kill these trees. The one kid come up and he said, boy, I shouldn't be here. He said, I don't know why I come up here. I don't, you know, I have no business here. He said, I'm hungry and I want to go home. <laughs> Where's the officer at? Who can I turn myself into? He said, I don't want to be here. <laughs> There's no rock. That's why I quit. All right. Yeah. Well, they all look like they're funky. Yeah, they're just like an overripe watermelon or tomato. They're time to be harvested, you know. They grow so much that they rot and die, you know. They're not going to be here forever. But he says, oh, they're, they're going to be there forever. No, they're not. Not a fur. Fur will die. But it, right there, you can see almost they're willing to rot it. They're driving up there in the coal deck to see a lot of coal in the coal deck. Yeah, that's all they do is use it for chips, you know, for paper. Like that the other day. Same way. Oh, that one right there? Yeah. Yeah. I, I had it. I had a shovel hooked to it. I took a limb up there. I had to fall two up. The wind was blowing. I broke that limb out. And I just took off one of the toe, but it hit just like it did you guys. Just bang. And if I have to worry about somebody else, like the hippies, you know, my mom, I'm gonna get hurt. They're not. You know, because we're more worried about them than we, you know, us. <laughs> The Tonka, the Tanya, Tonka, whatever she is, she's been here, she said, since September. Got frostbite on her fingers, feet, stuff. Frostbite? Frostbite from uh, last winter. When they got, they, she said people chase her out of her camp and she'd get all wet and it'd be cold. Well, go home. You know? And uh, she said, hey, nobody can catch her. She's right. That climber had her. Smaller than this. Hook butt. Bell. I bored it. I started barbecuing. There's a big chunk behind it. Well, I took off running, just like this right here. I took off running. 
in the concrete right here. Oh, yeah. Let me bury me. Get on my leg here. The undercut, top of the tree. Right here. Smash to the ground 10 inches. I was completely inside of this tree. Alright. It laid on top of me like that. I had a little hole here my arm stuck out. And it was smashed out on me. That, just like that. Out on my leg. 35 minutes, 45 minutes under it. They cut it off. They cut it off here. Here. And off. Talked about the I didn't hear you the first time. One, one, one more time. I said, a guy has enough problem out here looking out for himself and his partner without having to look after other people. I saw, under your trees. I saw you are bumping that one limb off how it came back and almost got you. Yeah. You get somebody running up here and bothering you and stuff and you can't watch and then you you get hit. So it's their fault and not, not this. <laughs> I go out there and film that big limb up above my head to how dangerous that is. So Where's dangerous. that uh, widow maker at? Right up there. Okay. That's the one thing. You see the end of it broke off. That's the one they walk under and they never know they're up there until they hit them on the head. You see that big limb? Yeah. You walk around, you're about to fresh cutting and they get. You walk right there. Is that cut so dangerous? 